all of a sudden we go away for a week and I stop working out. And then when I get home, I don't get back on my laundry routine. I don't get back on my cleaning routine, my fitness. As soon as my pattern is disrupted, it goes away. And it takes me weeks to re-catch it and re-establish those routines. And when we have realities like that, we don't just accept them. We say, what do I need to do to transform it and level up so that I don't have this three month period where I go from success to a month of failure and then a month of figuring it out and then bam, something happens, I get sick, whatever. Life is going to happen that way and I'm going to have those setbacks and I'm going to get sick, I'm gonna get injured. Bringing Eric into this and having that accountability is gonna help me nail down a plan so I can learn through my mind how to train my body, what to fuel my body with so I can write the best life story possible. And if my body limits me from that, if my choices are causing shame, that's not a good life story. That's a victim story. I'm the freaking hero of my story and this is my action that says wise one teach me so that I can bring back the gold to my village and be the freaking hero in my own damn story. I'm figuring out who I am every day. I'm figuring out what I want, how I want to bring my energy to this world, how I want to dress, how I want to eat, sleep, recover, how I want to invest in my children, everything. That doesn't always look pretty, but today I'm, I'm on top of it. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really clear. Celebrate those days because they're not always going to be there. Here's to the journey and for all of its highs and lows, all of its twists and turns. Whatever happens, we give it a meaning. We give it reason. We sit with it. We look deeper because superficial is just what catches our eye. Superficial isn't bad. It's only bad if we stay there, if we don't go any deeper. So until next time, journey well, my friends. Mm -hmm.